here today filming um, a special film um, in this house in France and I, um, we're just having a little chat with the actors and actresses of this film. Here we have Phoebe Falange. Um So Phoebe, talk to us about this film. How did you get into the part? Well, mate, uh... Did you go to an audition? You got the main part then? Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah, um, I, I want to kiss the director. Mm. Oh. Oh, I know. That, He's that's... very fit. Oh, to. good. His name is James Macaroon, yes? Um, I think so. <laughs> good. Okay, thank you for talking to us, Phoebe. Before I go, Phoebe, um, is it true about your breast implants? Of course not. These are real. <laughs> thank you, Phoebe. Here we are with uh, Madeline Quincy. She's uh, one of the main parts in this play. Um, we're just going to talk to her for a while. So, Madeline, tell me about the play. Um, well, it's all about me, really. Uh, that's about it. I don't really know. Uh, so, you had a real experience of terrible weather, wolves, witches, vampires, stuff like no, that? No, not really. They just thought, Madeline Quincy, now, what would she like to do? <laughs> put all these werewolves around my head. That'd be a good idea. So I, d I didn't have to audition, you see, because I'm, I'm pretty good friends with the director. <coughs> so, really? Yes. So, How are you acquainted with him? Um, hey, excuse me, I, I'm not permitted to say. Oh, what happened to your chin, Madeline Quincy? Oh, a tree attacked me. Oh, that's terrible. I know. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Is it a tree with a music note? Really? Yeah. I see you're very good friends with Phoebe here. Um, not really, she's a bit okay. Alright, I'd love talking to us. Goodbye. We're here with Mitchell Gold. Um, he, he, he's one of the main stars of this play also. Um, and he is only four foot three tall. So we're having a bit of trouble just here. Um, Mitchell, tell us about the film. Well, well, it's really good. Very, really, very really good. And I'm, I'm playing a very important part for the structure of the film. It's very, very, very good. And I just should all go and see it after oh. I have fallen on the floor. Okay, very good. Uh, thanks, Mitchell. Now, Laura, what part do you play in the play in the play? Um, really, I'm just a sort of cockney lass um, who tries to bring the whole play together in a sort of way. Yeah. So you're saying you're really just the sex object of the film? No, I'm not saying that at all. Did I once say that I was the sex object of the film? No, I didn't. I said I was a Cockney lass. Yes, I know, but Cockney lasses are known a lot for being like, you know. <laughs> We've had a little bit of trouble with the Cockney lass, but she's back now. And we're back. So, what, you've had a little talk with your solicitor. Now, what, what part would you say you are now? I would say... That I'm a very versatile actress. Um, with many different parts to play. Porn was just your pastors, not anymore. Oh, that's <laughs>